a very good evening all of you i am here to discuss with you the question of the day and the whole point of the question of the day first of all is not just to um answer the question but to understand that in what ways um the question can be framed by the examiners like how it can be how an extension of this question could also be asked anyway for this particular question most of you answered correctly the correct answer is option number d uh, but uh, like i said it's important to understand what are the concepts involved and what what could be the further extension of this question so in this question we we uh, make use of two name reactions okay one is your johnson claisen um, rearrangement and one is spinner reaction i have uh, named them over here spinner reaction is not used in this particular reaction but i like i said um it, it could be asked as an extension now whenever you see orthoesters okay these compounds over here uh, when three alkoxy groups are attached to the carbon those kinds of compounds the reagent that is given to you over here is called a orthoester okay it's called orthoester so whenever in the examination you come across orthoesters in most of the cases your sigma tropic reaction or some kind of a pericyclic reaction is definitely going to take place most importantly the sigma tropic reaction especially when alcohols are given to you so uh, let me just show you that what is the mechanism uh, what happens when you are given orthoester and an acid and then you can see heat is given to us so first look let's look at that because this is very important this has been asked previously in csi net also and the gate examination also not the same question but uh, the use of orthoesters so let's quickly have a look at the mechanism with the orthoesters so you can three we have we have three alkoxy groups attached and there's a one methyl attached over here okay now when you add acid now in this question the question that i had framed in that uh, the r group was ethyl okay but here i've just mentioned a general r group so what do you do when you add acid one of the alkoxy groups over here gets protonated and the lone pair from one of the oxygens migrates to this and the alkoxy group is eliminated as a alcohol okay roh is eliminated so i can write down over here minus roh so our alcohol is eliminated uh, then in the second step what happens you can see that we have a uh, alcohol over here like in the reagents if you see this is our alcohol so i've just given this uh, group r dash okay so you can just imagine that this whole group is r dash so now your alcohol attacks this particular electrophilic carbon and this um, tetrahedral intermediate is formed okay then again one of the alkoxy groups is going to be protonated by the acid and then um, you can see uh, we can have the migration of the lone pair and then again one of the alcohols is eliminated so again we can show minus roh then in the next step what happens um, the conjugate base of the acid basically uh, abstracts this proton over here um this these electrons migrate over here and we end up with this particular molecule so you can see that r dash this is our alcohol right r dash oh this is our alcohol over here this is attached to a carbon which is attached to or group and double bonded to ch2 so this is the intermediate that is very very important so if you just remember this intermediate for a while um let's draw this over here so you have this alcohol this is attached to a carbon let me show it to you in black okay this is attached to a carbon which is double bonded like this and it is attached to the or group in this case it is oet so i'll write down oet over here right so this is what is going to be our uh, uh, formed in the first step right not complete this is not actually a this is the first step that happens and now you are heating it so when you're heating it what happens is there's a possibility of a 3 3 sigma tropic reaction or a johnson claisen rearrangement when oxygen is involved over here or a. so if you see you can label this one you can label this carbon one and two dash uh, sorry two and three and you have two dash and three dash okay so there's a possibility of a three three sigma tropic reaction um i will not spoon feed you by giving you the exact structure because you can see all the four structures are absolutely same okay all the four structures that i've drawn over here is are absolutely same i'll uh, try it out by yourself and gain some confidence okay draw the structure on a piece of paper i'll show you the attack also so this attacks over here okay this double bond will migrate over here and this bond is going to get broken this is how the reaction is going to take place nothing will happen on this particular end so just try it out by yourself i don't want to spoon feed you um draw, draw the structures label the um carbon atoms and then you know make the um adjustments and then join the carbon atoms so anyway a 3 3 sigma tropic reaction takes place and you get a general structure like this okay you get a general structure like this uh now if you look over here carefully when the 3 3 sigma tropic reaction takes place you can see that once once this bond over here breaks we will we will end up with an ester okay c double bond o oet right we'll end up with an ester now once we have an ester and you add lithium aluminum hydride the lithium aluminum hydride will reduce the ester to the alcohol okay it will reduce the ester to the alcohol 
and then you are adding pyridinium chlorochromate so this is a chromium based oxidizing agent which selectively oxidizes alcohol to it avoids over oxidation and oxidizes your alcohol to aldehyde so lithium aluminum hydride will reduce the ester that is formed to the alcohol and then pcc will oxidize it to the um, aldehyde okay basically a primary alcohol will be formed when you do the um, when you do the rearrangement reaction you will find that we'll end up with an ester and when you reduce the ester you will end up with a primary alcohol so if you oxidize a primary alcohol we'll get a aldehyde if you oxidize a secondary alcohol we'll get a ketone with pcc so if you look into the uh, four structures that are given over here this is carboxylic acid so this is incorrect um this is a ketone which is incorrect and over here also i've shown you a ketone which is incorrect now there's also two more important concepts that i wanted to discuss a lot outside this question one is that if you add lithium aluminum hydride um to reduce a triple bond so it can reduce a triple bond provided it's there's a propargylic alcohol present so this is called a propargylic alcohol like we say allylic alcohol right when when there's an alcohol adjacent to a double bond we say it's a allylic alcohol right allylic alcohol similarly that when we have a triple bond adjacent to the um uh, uh, alcohol uh, we say that that particular alcohol is propargylic alcohol okay propargylic alcohol so when we add propargylic alcohol then the lithium aluminum hydride can reduce the triple bond and this question has been asked for two marks in the gate examination and the net examination as well so just do have a look at what is the mechanism of reduction of this triple bond or i'll frame a question of the day uh, related to this topic as well then one more important feature that i wanted to discuss with you is the pinner reaction now ortho esters the examiners have asked you a lot of times now to make it a little competitive because everybody will now be prepared with reactions on ortho esters and they would know that most probably a sigma tropic reaction is going to take place so instead of directly giving you ortho ester they can give you a reaction uh, wherein the ortho ester is formed and this pinner reaction is exactly that reaction um it basically um is a reaction which tells us that how a ortho ester is going to be formed so please remember that when a nitrile group okay when a nitrile group is reacted with excess of alcohol okay it is reacted with excess of alcohol um you end up with excess okay alcohol should be excess so if it is reacted with excess of alcohol you end up with the ortho ester be very careful in the examination instead of directly giving you the ortho ester they could give you a reaction wherein the first a nitrile reacts with alcohol to give you a and then they might give you addition of this particular reactant so then the question kind of changes all right so this is one way that an examiner could think of so remember pinner reaction and johnson glazen rearrangement and ortho ester these were the three most important topics or most important concepts that you needed to understand to be able to solve such questions so anyway i hope you found this video helpful if you did do not forget to give it a big thumbs up if you want to request any particular topic or any question from some topic do let me know in the comment section i will try my best to upload the video as soon as possible and um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel i would kindly request you to please do subscribe to the channel i'm um, just think of it as a way to pay me back for whatever efforts i am making for all of you um so that's about it thank you for watching once again and i will see you in the next video really soon I'm teaching live on the Unacademy platform in the CSR UGC net category where I'm taking both the free classes as well as the paid courses. So if you want to get access to the free classes, all you have to do is download the Unacademy app and when joining the CSR UGC net category, you have to use the unlock code that is SETHI. This is absolutely free of cost and you will get access to all my classes. While if you want to take the paid subscription or the plus subscription, there is a subscription fee for that. And if you want some discount on the subscription fee, you can use the referral code SETHI. This will give you 10% discount. On top of that, you will also get access to the my WhatsApp group where I frequently post a lot of updates related to exams and other things. In addition, with the plus subscription, what all benefits you are going to get? Well, you can watch all my sessions. Apart from that, you can watch other sessions that are um, available from other educators in the CSR UGC net category. You will also get a frequent mock test for the examination for your practice and some doubt solving sessions as well so if you're interested in joining the plus platform you can definitely check out the free classes first and then take a decision to take the plus classes do not forget to use these referral codes uh, this will give you a discount for the plus subscription and this code you have to use when you're joining the app to get access to all my free classes